February 2nd and I just woke up about 15-20 minutes ago. It's 8.17 right now. Um, I have a lot to do today, um, but first I'm just gonna warm up my body a bit so I could stretch and so the way I'm gonna warm up my body is just probably doing some like planks, maybe some jumping jacks, some arm circles, some bicycle um, crunch things, and then I'm just going to stretch, um, make myself some water. Um, that probably sounds weird, but I'll show you what I mean by that after, and um, start my day. just finished all my stretches um, it's about to be 840 now so that took about 23 minutes <laughs> um, something simple but it's something good to do every morning um, to get your day started and I'm trying to work on my flexibility so for some things I'm like kind of like you know decently flexible but for other things I'm like not flexible at all. Okay, so this is what I mean when I say make water. In here, I have just regular water. Um, nothing's in it. And into it, I put some apple cider vinegar, some sea salt, some baking soda, some lime, and some honey. And all this combination of things is supposed to be really good for several different parts of your body. So I don't ever really measure anything out, I literally just pour some in, however much I think I'll need. Then I add salt, and it's literally going to be just like a pinch. I don't like my water too salty, but um, Every individual is going to have a different preference based on what their body needs. Um, then I do some baking soda. Oh geez. And this I tend to put a little bit more um, than other people. For example, my whole family makes this. Do you hear it sizzling? You're not going to be able to see in there, but it's foaming up, it's sizzling. Um, next I put my lime. But yeah, I was saying everyone in my family makes this and um, we use the same ingredients um, and everyone makes it very different. So mine tastes very different from the one that my dad makes, from the one that my mom makes, from the one that my sister makes. Um, because it's dependent on what your own personal body needs and um, there isn't a specific order to do it in this is just the order that I do it in and I like it the best I don't have a lemon squeezer or a lime squeezer so this is kind of difficult back at home we have a little squeezer and it makes everything so much easier also, this lime is so huge, I'm wasting a lot of juice. Oh my gosh, there's still more and more juice coming out of it because it's so big that like just squeezing the front won't do it because there's so much juice in the back as well. I think I've done as much of it as I can. You also don't want to do it too much because then it'll get bitter. Okay, and last thing is just some honey 
If you can get raw organic honey, it's, be it's better. I love honey. Okay, next. You do have to mix it up, but I don't want it to spill everywhere, so. Usually if you do this in like a large cup, you just take a large spoon and mix, but I don't have a large cup and since I'm going to be on the go, I'm putting it into this little thermos. Ah, it's so good. Um, my sister always says that the one that I make tastes like soda because it's, it's like bubbly, it's like gassy because of the baking soda. I put a decent amount of it in. But the only thing is you don't want to put too much because then it'll just taste foamy and like actually pretty gross. Um, so the secret is putting just enough to make it like this but not too much to where it's like foamy and gross. Um, she always asks me to make for her because she likes the way that I make it, which I think is funny. And she always tries to make it like me and for some reason can't. I don't know why. Check out how crazy the smell is. Oh my gosh. I have to go out there really soon. <laughs> okay, so I hope you can hear me. It's the end of the week, so I'm gonna um, leave a load of laundry in the wash while I go do what I have to do. But I'm just doing all my wickets. Who remembers this scarf? Um, I was just trying to be as efficient as possible, so I came to, um, basically I have to get a document signed by someone in the building that I'm in right now. And the building that I'm in right now has a lot of um, computer labs where you can print. But it's Friday morning, everybody has class in those labs, so I can't get in any of them to print out what I need to print out. So, I should have just gone to the library to begin with, and then walked here. But I was honestly being a little lazy, but now I have to do double the work. Everything just gets more and more stressful each time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I've come to Quest Diagnostics to get some blood work done. I signed in to, um, uh, so I've just come back to the cart. I'm going to turn off this light. I've come back to the car because um, there's a long like, line of people waiting. Um, and I forgot my water in here, so I came to get it. But also, I just want to talk for a little bit. Um, I was in a rush earlier because they close at 11.30 and it's like 11.15. So I don't really know how they're going to get all those people before they close. Unless they just aren't going to close. I don't know. They reopen after lunch, but um, I don't know if we're going to have to go after lunch or what. Anyway, um, I was so stressed this morning, and I'm still very stressed, but I feel like a lot of weight has been lifted off my shoulders because I got things done, and I'm like actually very proud of myself for being able to do what I, what I did. Um, basically, the first thing that I wanted to do was print out some of the forms that I need to fill out in order to register for an independent course that I'm taking. This independent course... Um, is my thesis so it's very very important um other than that i still have a yoga course that i need to like officially register for i've been going to the class um but i haven't been officially registered for it my advisor is currently out of the office due to illness i don't know what happened to her she has limited um internet access so i have to go to another advisor he hasn't been in the office it's been really crazy i found out that there's a business hold on my account and i don't know why um it seems like my financial advisor hasn't put all the documents in um to the system so none of my like money has gone through um but it still wouldn't be enough to reduce my money like my balance to um an amount where I could 
like be okay in the sense that I, um, for example, went to go get some textbooks that I need for my classes today and um, I couldn't because there's a hold in my account. All right, so it's also going to be one for the four Thank you. So you have a business loan on your account. You yeah, have to just remembered. Okay, um, so can I be right back? I'm gonna go right now. All right, to try to figure it out. Yeah, I'll hold this for you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about that. So I have to pay like real money for them. Well, not that it's not real money, but it's just later. I have to pay like money now um, that I don't have. It comes out to so much money, and it's just so stressful. So I went to go do the business thing. And now I have to wait, I have to figure out other loans to get, etc, etc. I can't get my books. Um, I left, I went back to try to, actually I was leaving. I was just, okay, I'm, I'm so done because everything's going wrong. And then I forgot that I had to fill out my intent to graduate form. So I went all the way back to fill it out. It was due last week, but whatever, I got it in. Hopefully everything will be okay. Um, and then I was leaving, I was gonna go, and then I was like, you know what, maybe I should just check to see if my independent study advisor is in his office so I could just get him to sign off on it now. I was really nervous to go see him because he has to like read what I've written about what I expect for the independent study and a description for it, and he signed off on it, he was happy with it. I had to go to the chair of the department, get his signature. I've never even met this guy before. I felt like, oh my gosh, now what? But he was just like, you know what, I trust him completely, signed off, perfect. So now I have to go to the other advisor um, to get him to sign off, and the dean of undergraduate students has to sign off. But none of that can be processed until my money, my balance, goes all the way down. So I have to figure that out first. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. But in the meantime, I have to get blood work done for my sleep um, stuff. That's a whole nother story. Um, yeah. Feels good to have talked to talked it out. I doubt anybody is interested in this, but um, anyway, I'm going to go back inside to wait. I wasn't able to get my blood work done because my doctor, I guess, wasn't specific enough with the type of test that I need, and um, the lady who works here wasn't able to put it into the computer because she doesn't know what specific test it is, even though, um, like, it's written, but there are apparently, like, a bunch of different types of tests that are under this, like, category and she doesn't know what one it is and it turns out my doctor's away in a comp excuse me my doctor's away in a conference and he won't be back until Tuesday so I have to come back on Tuesday for her to call him figure out what type what type of test I need and then proceed with the blood work but I have my follow-up appointment with him on Friday so I hope that it only takes a couple of days for it to process even though he purposely gave me two weeks because um, he said it takes a little while, so I don't know. I hope he's just like gave me the two weeks just in case, like it took me a week to go because it has taken me a week to get here because everything has been super stressful, but um, ugh, I don't know. I think my problem is I just stress too much about things that I shouldn't stress about. Like it happened, it's okay. I'm not a terrible person because I should have done it a week ago, but that's how I feel. Um, speaking of which, I need to make a counseling appointment for school. Okay, I'm just going to go home, make lunch, and eat, and try to get some work done, and hopefully that'll make me feel better. Maybe nap for a bit, and yeah. Ooh, just what I need. Sean Mendes on the radio. And start confessing. Okay, so I have my lunch here ready to eat um, and my cup of tea. I've got my meat. I like it very, very well done. As you can see, some potatoes and string beans. I overcooked them. I don't like them to be that cooked at all, but they're still... I love string beans, so like I'll eat them anyway. And then I just have a lemon tea. 
My lunch was super, super yummy. Um, now I'm going to Lynn's apartment um, because we're going grocery shopping with her and Akosu. So we're at the supermarket. <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> we're doing, um, you guys. I'm judging no. like a little bit. <laughs> girls night tonight so we're making tacos and um, margaritas for like the legal people of course not me you know. I need one of these this is what I was talking about the other day or this morning maybe how much are these yes sorry oh geez girl mess I'm a mess thank you all right how much are these $5.99? That's like unbelievably I'll expensive. I'll my teeth. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're shopping for that. I don't know. Okay, so Lynn and I just stopped by my apartment. I don't remember what the... Oh, we were last in the grocery store. We got everything we needed. Um, then I went to visit some friends with Lynn. And now we... Are carrying, we came to my apartment to get some things that we might need for the tacos. We also stopped by the. <laughs> we also stopped by the grocery store to get some beef for tacos. Yes. And now we're gonna go to Lynn's apartment to get uh, the rest of the accoutrements for tacos. All right, the the things that we bought today at the supermarket and a blender for um, margaritas and yeah. We're about to have so much fun. <laughs> Everything's made. We're about to have our tacos. <laughs> of course, we're definitely making fun of me. <laughs> we have cilantro. We have onion. We have lettuce. We have cheese. We have tomato. We have shells. We have, what is this called? Sour cream. Oh, I almost forgot the, um, the guac. I made some guac. Here it is. Yum. Yeah. Uh, don't mind the Nicki Minaj in the back. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the meat. Here's the meat as well. And the soft shells, hard shells, all the stuff. Rachel. We forgot the beans. <laughs> we had our tacos. Oh my gosh, I had way too many tacos. They were really good. We did a good job, girls. No one acknowledges me. Um, now we're just cleaning up. Putting some cheese away. She's walking about tacos. She's walking about tacos. Oh, a coast well, we don't have to wash the dishes right now. I, I was know, just saying like, let's I clear wanna... the table because that was like a little too much. Um, it was chaos. You have to, you I'm chaos. To wipe. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the night with the girls. And um, yeah, bye.